Good morning, everybody. Another new day, plus two Celsius. That's like 35 Fahrenheit. It's gonna be a good day. It's supposed to go up to as high as plus seven, or plus four, or plus seven, depends who you listen to. We got someone way cooler than me behind me. I can hear subwoofers vibrating my pickup truck. I'm gonna take off extra casually because I know he's probably all hyped up right now. Yep, he's right up my back end. Oh yeah, he's super cool. Anyways, what a way to start the day. Let's go, let's get some real music going in here. Oh, the Grundy Grundy County auction. Oh, okay, it's just talking on the radio. So today's gonna be a good day. We're gonna go drive some trucks, we're gonna go burn some diesel fuel, we're gonna go bring people their stuff. It's gonna be fun. Let's see what we can make up today. You ready? I don't know if you remember me telling you or not, but when I was a teenager, I was that kid. I had big subwoofers in my trunk. I had a fart can for a muffler. Chevrolet Cavalier with a sunroof. I was cool. I don't know what happened to me, but I'm just, I'm just not as cool as I used to be. <laughs> I wish I could go back and smack myself. What are you doing? But oh well. We all do dumb stuff when we're kids, right? All right, we got her running. Time is 7.36 in the morning. Starting the week off with a brand new pair of gloves. I really like these, uh, well, they're Vigo, or is it called a Vigo? Vigo love these gloves. They protect my hands from uh, like the top of my hands. And they last quite a while. They're comfortable. I don't know. I get them on Amazon. I'm not trying to sell them to you or anything, but you might like to know what gloves Trucker Josh uses. I don't know. filling up. Check the lights. Lights up there are working today. That's good. Check those tires. They have air in them too. Ooh. It's going to be a good day. Check these out. All filled with air. Timmy's in hand. Oh, oh. oh, I'm excited. It's another new week. Hold on to your hats. Let's do this.
first load of the day. Filled it to the back. I always slam that thing too hard. The other window's open. There's no air pressure in here. It closes a lot easier. Okay. Whew. So right off the bat, loaded the trailer up here in Winnipeg. And we're taking this out to southern Manitoba. A small town called Altona. She's all locked in. Pull it out of here so I'm not sitting on it the whole time. Yeah. I never leave valuables in the truck, even if I'm just going onto the dock somewhere. Here we go. Hotel Tona. Somebody out there is getting ready for summer. Thinking about mowing the lawn kind of thinking the same thing. So Altona is 115 kilometers from here. That's about 70 miles or so. According to my GPS here, it's gonna take me one hour and 22 minutes to get there. Altona is uh, close to the US border uh, with North Dakota. It's in uh, what we call Yonzit, the other side, or the other side of the river, Mennonite territory on the west side of the Red River. So I'll go see what Yonzi's up to today. See if they're staying out of trouble. Go check in on them, make sure they're okay. Somebody out there is already thinking about mowing lawn, I'm just saying. At least I'm not the only one. I was looking at my tractors this weekend. Scratching my beard a little bit. Dreaming of summer. I'm hoping we can get a good lawn started uh, at our spot. Uh, we got to clear it out. It's going to be mud at first, right? And I really want it to be mud for as little as possible so we can enjoy it. I can't take the dogs there and let them run around if it's all mud. So we're going to seed lawn right away. And hopefully it takes. And, uh, and I can get to mowing some lawn. <laughs> I'm excited. I got a big zero point term mower. I need somewhere to go and use it. bigger than I remember. All right, let's suit up. Way too warm outside for this big jacket. Yeah. So, sweater it is. Let's go open up the back door and see if they can come up and unload me. Oh, it's just a beautiful day out here. Oh, this truck's all dirty. Oh, I'll need my gloves. I always forget something. 
a nice fancy gloves. I like that they have this Velcro there. Holds them in place a little better. Let's do it. They got the first one off. I think they're gonna have to go and get a pallet puller to get those other two off of here. Pull it to the back. These aren't real pallets on here though, eh? Sort of, they're a little bit weak, so you don't want to pull them apart either. I'll figure something out. Oh, it's a beautiful day. I'm staying out of their way right now. They're using a chain and uh, <laughs> pulling them to the back and then lifting them off the back of the trailer. That's how we often have to unload pallets. If they don't have a dock, usually we put the, the skids as far to the back as possible so it's easy to grab them. But uh, there's three big crates in there and the third one's pretty far in there. So they hook a chain onto it and then they pull it to the back with the forklift and then take the chain off and then lift it right off the back. That's the only way to do it without a dock, but it works fine. A little bit extra work, but it's a lot cheaper than building a dock, and it's not that difficult. That's it for that. I don't know if they did something to fix the door or if it's just the warm weather. This thing is working much better today. Ah, again, if the window is open. There we go. That's it. That load is complete. There you are. I knew you liked me. Okay. Another satisfactory trucker Josh delivery. So I headed back the hour north to Winnipeg and loaded up my trailer again. I've got multiple stops on this load. We're gonna head out back to the south. We have a stop in, uh, da, 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 where are we gonna start off? In Otterburn, Landmark, uh, a few in Steinbach and LeBrokery. So a little bit of a loop we're going to try to get it all done this afternoon yet. Time is now 10 to 3. No time to lose. Let's just go make sure that everything is in the trailer that's supposed to be there. And we'll be on our way. Side note, while I was loading here, my jeans caught on the dock plate when we were uh, lifting it up. I don't ask. <laughs> Ripped them open. You can see the lining inside there. That's what I tell you about. Eh? That's what keeps them so warm. I've already gone on Amazon and uh, bought a jean repair kit, iron-on jean patches. They probably won't match the color exactly, but they're just work pants anyways. And uh, these are still good for a couple of winters yet. They're expensive, so I'm going to fix them. But meanwhile, for the rest of the day, I'm going to be walking around with a broken leg, so to speak. This door is a lot easier to open when it's warm up. Okay, so there we are. We've got a whole bunch of stuff up there. Not quite a full trailer, but we need to get going. We need to get this delivered. And 
It ain't gonna deliver itself. And don't even start with those comments about those automatic driverless trucks. No. Otter burn, where they burn all the otters. It's terrible. But it's a very nice, t is it a town? It's like five houses, isn't it? Like 10 houses. I don't know. Otter burn. There you are. There's a uh, Providence University there. It's a, uh, a Christian college. A lot of people I know went there. Da, 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 da. Okay, so we're going to go around. We're at the north perimeter right now. Uh, we're going to go around Winnipeg on the east side and down the 59 all the way to our fabulous destination. Come on, Karen. Speak to me. Did I turn you off? I wouldn't be surprised. No! She just doesn't want to talk to me. She never figure them out. Sometimes they want to talk, 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 talk. Other times they don't want to talk at all. That's why I call her Karen. Hey, good. My trailer ABS light went off. So it's 47 minutes. Then turn left onto McPhillips Street North. But now she wants to talk. See, see what I mean? She only wants to talk when I'm talking. She wants to talk over me. She wants to be the dominant one. She wants to be in control. But no, I'm the boss. In this space, anyways. Not the big... I, I, I get it. I got my own boss. Well, this guy's dragging his... Oh, I thought he was dragging his tires there. And there's someone coming from there now. Okay, we can wait. See, I'm not the boss. If I was the, if I was the actual boss, everyone would stop and make way. Maybe that would make me the king. Wouldn't that be cool to be the king? I don't think I got the right color blood for that. Don't you need blue blood for that? Turn left onto McPhillips Street North, Route 180 North. Signs for McPhillips Street, Rosmore Avenue. McPhillips Street North. Let's go this way. Oh, oh, oh. We're going to have to give her. It's... Okay, here we go. By the time I get out of here and get back to Steinbag, I don't even know if I can get one more off. But that's that's the thing about time. There's a limited amount of it. So whatever we don't finish today, we finish first thing tomorrow morning. Before we do anything else.
That's what happens when you don't load the trailer correctly. <laughs> that was my mistake. I told him to put that at the back. Now I've been shuffling it around all day. We got it done though. So the last two are going to be taken care of first thing tomorrow morning. Not enough time in the day. I'll at least be able to bring it inside so that everything stays warm overnight. Feel her up and tuck her in for night and go home. All right, be honest. Who missed me the most? Commander? Well, you know who can wag their tail the fastest? Let's try outside? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. You got, the door's got to open first, guys. You forget every time. Every time. You got to open the door first. Wait, I just locked it. I, I thought I unlocked it. There we go. Let's turn our lights on. All right, boys. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, the weather's so nice out here. Our front yard uh, actually has some grass showing. We have a lawn. Just like I was saying before, we're gonna need to start thinking about getting the old lawnmower started. Right, Wiener? Right? No? Commander, are you gonna do it? Are you gonna jump? Good choice. She got there. <laughs> Chicken fiends. These are the three that know they can have it. Guys, it's raw. And I'm spicing it so you can't have any. <laughs> oh, look at that sharp knife. Wow, I bet you a real good looking man bought you that. It's also easier to cut chicken when it's only partly thawed. That, that is the one I bought you, right? Uh, nope, this is one of the old ones, but you bought me one similar. This is actually I, the dull one that needs sharpening. I bet you a really good man bought you one just like that. I bet you. I bet you it's even prettier than this one. Oh, I bet you. It's in the drawer behind her. Put it in there. Where's the really sharp one? Is it in there? Yeah. This is the one? This is the one. That's the one. That's right, I got you the one with the... I shouldn't open it that way. Okay. The, the colorful all the water spots on them. Wonderful. <laughs> they're titanium coated, that's why they're Careful. colorful like that, apparently. So chicken. Mm -hmm. Did you have a good day? I had a good day at work, yes. Does this make you uncomfortable? How about if I stare at you very closely? You fart. I guess I deserve that. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. Good response. Diesel. How you doing, buddy? So, uh, next week on Monday when we uh, are doing the new thing, that we're going to talk about later on this week and next week as it starts. 